my name is Jess and I'm here with you uh, from Mudbugs. I'm here today to celebrate Crinion and Oak with Leitrim Library so thank you very much for having me here um, and I'm really excited that this is my second virtual um, workshop with libraries this year um, and yeah looking forward to getting started with you. So today we're going to be making nature journals so these are very easy to make, very simple um, and they can be done with most ages so it just depends on how much you as the adult want to get involved. Um, I generally um, do these journals with kind of 7 to 11 year olds because I find that they work really well for that age group but you can do them for younger age groups too and older of course. Um, so I find that these nature journals are really good for observing nature and um, interacting with nature as well. So you can use photos, written descriptions, um, dry petals and leaves um, and any other pieces that you can find in nature um, that are easy to kind of add into your nature journal. So you can use it a little bit like a scrapbook as well as a diary um, or a journal. So there's very few things that you need for this um, because I wanted to make it as simple as possible for you to be able to do this at home. So in the next picture you will see all the things that you're going to need um, and then once you have those we can get started. Okay, so now you have everything that you need and um, we're going to get started. So with your paper that you've chosen, whether it's coloured, plain, um, and it could even be a slightly thicker paper, so it might be a little bit, um, just a little bit easier to fold. And I've got, just got plain paper here, and um, it's like a sugar paper. So I'm literally just folding it in half, all the pieces in one. So it's like this. I'm using kind of scrap paper right now. And that's all you have to do with that. So then when you've got that done, you're going to take your string or your wool and you're just going to cut off a nice long piece that's going to wrap around, around the paper like this. So we're just going to do that right now. So as you can see, I've put it through here. And all I'm doing is just tying it here at the spine of your now, your book now. Um, and it's just very simply tie it in a double knot or you can make it look quite pretty with a bow or you could even um, get really creative and braid a nice little um, plait or something like that on the end. So I've just got it like this. I might just leave it like that and see what I might do with it at the end. So you've got now your basic journal. And then what you're going to do is you're going to design the front of it so you can add your name, the child's name, whoever is watching this video, um, and you can kind of personalise it, so the name um, and maybe a photo or a picture on the front. Um, I Before I have used like washi tape, whatever we seem to have on hand, scrap paper, uh, dried leaves or petals and really make it your own so that's your, your cover, so that's the cover of your journal. And then as you go through the book, you can decide with your colours or your coloured pens or markers, whatever you have, crayons maybe, you can start to add into your diary what or your journal what you want to have. So I often say a theme is quite nice, um, especially for older children. It's a little bit easier to kind of fill it in maybe. Um, rather than just having a blank journal or that might work really well for some children um, but I find that a lot of kids that I work with like that little bit of structure um, mainly because they're used to having maybe some structure in school that kind of thing so um, and as well I find when they get older they often look for a little bit more structure because they've got used to it in school but it is totally up to you you can do whatever way you want but I'm going to just give you a few suggestions here in this next picture um, of what you can add into your book so it's all different themes like maybe a whole page for each thing so it might be a whole page for things that you can smell in nature and a whole page for things that you can see in nature and um, so yeah have a little look at this next slide to give you some ideas of what to put into your journal
Okay, so now you have an idea of what you can put into your journal. Um, I just wanted to give you a couple of um, tips on maybe drawing petals and leaves. And you do not need any special equipment. You don't need a flower press or anything like that. All you need is some really heavy books, some newspaper, and then your petals or leaves, and maybe even some tins of like beans or uh, soup or whatever it is that, that you might have at home. Um, so all you're gonna do with your leaves is you're going to put them on a piece of newspaper, put another piece of newspaper over that, keep it very, very flat and put it in between, um, in a book, inside a book, a very large, heavy book, whatever big book you can find at home. So put it inside there, and then you want to put some more heavy books on top. And you can leave that for maybe up to two or three weeks, um, depending on the leaf or the petals. But you can take a look every so often and just see how it's coming on because it's actually a really nice way to observe nature in a very different way because we are manipulating it as humans so it's a nice observation to make um, with your children so that's one way to kind of add a few different things into your diary as well as the ideas that i gave you in the last slide and um, so now what you have to do or can do is head off into nature, explore, and just keep your eyes open, eyes and ears open, and see what it is that interests you or that kind of sparks your creativity, and fill your journal with everything that you see in nature, because this journal is going to be your nature journal. So it's everything that you see, hear, and do in nature, and how you can connect with nature, because Connecting with nature is such a special thing and it's a really lovely way to slow down um, and just ground yourself and your children. Um, yeah, so I just feel like connecting with nature is one of the most powerful things you can do with your family. Um, so I hope your nature journals are filled by the end of the summer. Thank you so much for watching and if you want to get some more um, free resources head over to mudbugs.ie and there is a page there of resources so there's a, um, a bingo page and a scavenger hunt that you can download and do at home. Thank you so much. Bye.